We'll start with the Mandarin color. It is a simple and it'll be the foundation for other colors to be built on. So let's get started. So the way I'm going to structure this class is that I'll be going back and forth between the form, the dress form, and the whiteboard. Uh, I will need measurements. I'll need the measurement of the neckline. We're dealing with necklines. We need the measurement of the neckline. So either we measure the dress form or we measure the neckline of your pattern, but we need some measurements. We're going to start with two lines perpendicular to each other and we're going to label one CB for center back. We're going to measure the measurement from the center back on the neckline to your shoulder seam. We'll put a little notch right there and then continue measuring the neckline to center front. Again, we're going to measure from center back to your shoulder, put a little notch and then continue to your center front and put another notch. That is the beginning of the drafting process. Now I'm going to take it to dotted paper and I'll show you exactly how we draft this. Okay, okay so we're going to start by drawing two lines perpendicular to each other. And that means that this corner right here is a 90 degree angle. Okay, we're going to label this CB for center back. This will be our center back and this will be our neckline. Now we know we've measured the form or the pattern and we know that from center back to the shoulder is three inches. So we measure three inches and we put a little cross mark, a little notch. And then from the shoulder to center front is three and three quarters. So we measure three and three quarters and we put a little cross mark right there. And that's our center front. Next, from our center front cross mark, we're going to measure up half inch and put a little cross mark. So we're gonna go up half inch and put a little cross mark, okay? Just like that, up half inch, right there, put a little cross mark. Next, with our French curve or hip curve or any kind of curve, we're going to place the curve, the, the ruler, right at that half inch cross mark, blending into the shoulder neckline cross mark, just like this. Next, from this new cross mark right here, we're going to create a 90 degree line going in this direction. And in case you forgot what a 90 degree line looks like, this is a 90 degree angle. Okay, so if I place my ruler here and go in this direction for about an inch, an inch and a half or so, we're going to shape it in a minute. So I've just created a 90 degree angle right there. See that? Next, we're going to figure out the size of our Mandarin collar. In other words, how big is this collar right here? What is this measurement? I'm going to make mine one inch. So therefore, from this line right here, I'm going to measure one inch. Okay, again, I'm going to measure from the neckline, go up one inch, all the way up, just like that. Most Mandarin collars have a rounded shape right at the center front, right here. So we're gonna round out this corner right here, so it's, it's, it won't be a 90 degree angle. It'll be a rounded corner. And you can do it by hand, creating a round shape right here. Or if you want to use, say, the inside of your French curve, like so. Just to create a nice smooth curve right there. Now, when you look at the Mandarin color, you'll notice that there is this outside piece, but there's also an inside piece. So it's actually cut twice, right? You must put this on the fold, obviously, and cut it twice. 
which means that you have two pieces on the fold, one for the inside part and one for the outside. And when we're all done, this is what the Mandarin color looks like on the forum. Welcome to Fashion Premiere Academy. I will see you in class.